For the first time in four years, North Koreans have crossed the northern limit line in the East Sea, this time four people, and reportedly expressed their intentions to defect. A vetting procedure is underway. The military says that it had been tracking the movement of a small boat carrying the suspected defectors from early this morning, but it's facing yet another surveillance criticism. Our defense correspondent Chen Min Jung reports. Four suspected North Korean defectors have reportedly been found in a small wooden boat in waters east of Sokcho, Gangwon-do province. According to a government official on Tuesday, they had expressed their intentions to defect. South Korean military authorities have confirmed that the suspected defectors have been detained after the movements were tracked. A small wooden boat, believed to have come from North Korea, was spotted and tracked using coastal surveillance equipment. A JCS official said at around 4 a.m., the military dispatched ships and maritime patrol aircraft near the northern limit line after spotting unusual movement from the north. At around 5.30 a.m., an army radar detected an object moving toward the south steadily at a very low speed. An hour later, the military used a thermal observation device to track the boat, which was moving diagonally towards Sokcho. A fishing boat from South Korea had also spotted the boat in waters around 11 kilometers east of Sokcho and reported it to the Coast Guard. Questions are being raised as to why the military could not spot the crossing of the NLL. A JCS official explained that detecting such crossovers is difficult, as the NLL in the East Sea is over 400 kilometers long. The official also reassured that the military has been monitoring the boat closely after being detected on its surveillance equipment, and added that they have been cooperating closely with the Coast Guard and the Navy. A similar event happened four years ago when four North Korean fishermen defected to South Korea's Hamchuk port in the East Sea and were forcibly repatriated to the North by the Moon administration. Last May, North Korean residents defected by crossing the NLL in the West Sea. The government is reportedly confirming whether the intentions of Tuesday's defectors are genuine. Defectors undergo an interrogation conducted by a joint investigation team consisting of the military, police, intelligence authorities and the unification ministry. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.